What is up, everyone, and welcome to that Deportivo La Coruña save season four. We are here today to make sure that we can grow and become better Deportivo than we are before. But without further ado, we're going to get into something. Excuse me, I had a burp there. That's interesting that's come up. But before we get into that, we've had record transfers in and out of the club. A lot of money has gone in, but a lot of money has gone out. Players that were club legends last season may or may not be here anymore. People that we didn't know we would be able to sign last year were able to sign now. And there's a special surprise just for myself. But before we get into that... About two days after the end of the season. And I, I mean, I finished recording. It was about four days after um, when I started going doing this. Uh, Deportivo La Coruña board have announced that they are going to build a new stadium. And are looking for sites and possible investors. May reason behind this decision was the last... Blah, 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 blah. The need to accommodate a bigger crowd due to the high ticket demand for their home matches. The board have, however, pointed out that this will not be a smooth process and will take some time to put into action. Director Alex Im really wants to take the club to another level and considers building a new stadium for a big step in that direction. So, what it is telling us that we're getting a new stadium... But it could take a few years. We might not be here. Probably will be. We might not be here when the new stadium is done. But should we get into the transfers? I think you might like some of these. So we're going to go with the outs. Okay, I've blocked up, covered up the ins so you can't see what is going on. The outs are interesting. So. I've got to go back to try and remember where we, we it all started. Um, David de La Buelo, who we signed on a free, um, has left us on a permanent deal to Como, um, rising up to 325,000. Zarazina, a player that I had very high hopes for. He did well in the second division, just wasn't there for us in the first division. Sold him for 2 million, rising to 2.2. Vada, a player who I thought was going to be the next thing. Didn't really leave up to it. Uh, Dybala, another player who I thought was going to do really, really well for us. And just become sort of a squad rotation. And then when we got to the La Liga, it just wasn't really cutting it from what we needed. And then here we go. This is when hearts get broken. But Ian Aki and Leonardo has gone out on loan. Jason Weir is now out on loan. Alex Caban has gone uh, due to wage wages. Um, he had to go, but there is a option for a permanent buy. And uh, Martin Pascal has left us on a permanent deal and has gone to Saudi Arabia. Um, if we look here, we brought we got him on a free and we sold him for seventeen million. So we made a lot of profit on him. He was my main person for it, but in the end. It was better for us to move on. He wanted to leave. He kicked up a fuss. Um, not as bad of a fuss that he did. Al Halal have signed Pedro Pellegri from us. The guy who got 17 league goals last season for us. He got 20. Was it, oh, he got 17 league goals overall. Um, absolutely phenomenal job he did for us. Right person, right time. And he is officially gone to Saudi Arabia for thirty point five million pounds. He was worth twenty four. May offer that he wanted to leave. He was incredibly interested, and I was like, "Okay, no worries, goodbye." So, because of last season and the formation we're playing. I looked at the formations of how we're keeping the same formation of what we've done. 
uh, but we're going to build upon it, make it more depth wise for what we need. So I looked at it and we never had two proper strikers for the formation we're playing. Um, we had target man on Pedro Pellegrini, who did really well with his header in. But I wanted someone who could come off the bench and really make an impact as a target man. So I brought a six foot seven striker on a free from Southampton. Now, this was very much, I love this player in real life. I've had him on FM FIFA 23 and I love him. And because this was basically a me signing, this is who I wanted. Uh, when I saw him, his target, his headering's good. Jumping is going to be... He just needs to leap just a little bit, and he's got it. Bravery off the ball. Everything about him screams the player we need to come off the bench. And he wanted that, and we got him on a free. Next one. Player that cost us £9.25 million. A little bit more depth, but he also has very much a big potential with him great finishing great dribbling good passing good technique very good uh, uh, vision great flair good composure he's got everything I, I look for in the player that we need i don't did i sign him yeah i did ah the left back so, so after we sold I, I, I did this yesterday and my brain is still not computing for what i've done so the left back that we had um Devo Buela, um, I sold him for one reason and one reason only. This player. Miles better and more age, better age. And then the last one from the Real Madrid. You will know this if you've seen me on my Reading save. I also signed him on there because he was a free transfer at the same time. And I wanted him. He's got all round. He will, he will be a good player for us. Um, I'm going to believe that you'll see him, but we're going to get to him in a minute. Scott McTomney, Scottish midfielder from Manchester United, was a free transfer. He popped up on my screen and I was like, yes, I need you. I want to have you. You're staying and you're coming. It took him a little while to actually agree to it and come and sign for us. But in the end, he did and... He is going to be another player we need, player we need in, that, in that position for what we've got. Next one, only 4.4 million. He's the one who's going to replace Pedro Pellegrini for leaving. And that is Jovic. Was signed for Real Madrid after an incredible season with Eintracht Frankfurt. He then went to Real Madrid, Fiorentina, Leicester. That was in the game. AC Milan, and now he is here with us. We sold Pedro Pellegrini for three and a half million, and now 30 million, sorry, and we brought in a replacement who has the same attributes, the same style of what we're looking for, for just four million pounds. If he doesn't work out, I'm fine with it because we could sell him for double what he's on. So I'm fine. Joel Victor, centre back. Now, Martin Pascal left us, and I needed a centre-back. Looked all the way around, and then I stumbled across this gentleman. He had a release clause of £10.5 million in Brazil, and I triggered it. But by God, is he a good player. Marking is good. Passing, not that great. Tackling is good. Pace. He has pace. He's got aggression, anticipation, bravery agility jumping reach i could go on and on and on but i'm not going to but he is another center back we have signed but here's the big one because martin pascal also left and i wanted to boost the defense massively that was what we were lacking last season and the goalkeeper situation is going to be have to be put off for another season um but this is where we are cilia now, just look at those stats.
My God, this player had a release clause of that. I triggered it. It took a lot of wages to get him here. Not going to lie. But 20 leadership. 16 pace, 16 agility, 18 aggression, 16 bravery, 16 head in. He could be the best centre back I have brought in 2024 on either save. Uh, it, mm. We've also had some few issues. Familia Castilla wants a new contract off of it. Becca Becker is unhappy because I have rejected a bid from Al Etihad um, for him, but they offered me 12 million. I refused it. I know I signed him for two, but I like Becca Becker. So I said to him, fine, but only 17. And they also want Eduardo Cuesma, another centre back that I signed for 3.2 million. And I said, and I rejected the bid. And I was like, fine, but I will only sell you for 21 million. Now, if they come back in for him, fine, I'll sell him for 21 million. I could buy another centre back that's less than that, that will do me good. But. What a player. And our players have been ripped apart by Saudi Arabia. Now, this player here is another one from my youth academy. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look great. But he is someone who fits the criteria of what we're looking for. I'm also trying to loan out Charlie. So here's the team. Here's the main team that we're going to have. So Pussin is going in goal with Cilia, Victor and Kawesma. We've also got Agu with, uh, on the right wing. Becca Becker in the defensive midfield position with Scott McTomney. Then we've got Familia Castillo, who's on the left wing. We've got Rina behind the striker of Alpine and Jovic. We've also got Luke Southwood, Omar Reki, Christian, Christian Mola, Tutu. Then we've got Adriana Marin, who's also now going to be the left wing back. Agor is now going to midfield. Uh, he's going to go on the bench, but will be playing in Europe most probably. Uzan. Is going to be playing in midfield as well with Cruz, who would be playing behind the striker. Um, or could be around. Um, no, what I'm going to do. So we can. Yeah. Uh, Iliev will be the one who comes off the bench off the striker. Then we've got Paul, who will be playing as the target man. And then Goretz, who will be going there as well. So this is our team. And this is the schedule here today. We're going straight in for the derby. And the next episode. We got Real Madrid and Barcelona in the same episode. Yeah. Very quick. But soon we will be playing in Europe. Um, and we will be showing a lot more games with European competitions than league appearances. But we need to give two. 32. You want two? Can't have it. 33. Right. Here we go. Let's try this out. I think we've created a beast of a team. We are nowhere near. I still think we're two seasons away from challenging Real Madrid and Barcelona. I think we're two or three seasons away. I think if we can get Europa League football and stay in Europe next season, like Europa League again, I will be fine. If we push forward, I'll be fine with that as well. We just needed to get more quality on the bench. And we needed to make sure that when we go into this derby, that we are raring to go. And we look at it. Familia Castillo, back to Rina, Scott McTomney, Jovic off the post. And now here come Vigo on the counter-attack. Celta Vigo now. Derby day here today. 34,899 fans here today. We're the first team to kick off La Liga this season. And we're going to kick it off, hopefully. In style, right? Koresma down the line. Yoku, Jovic is there. Jao Victor, Cecilia. Where's he gonna go? Oh, lovely ball to Familia Castilla. Goes down the line, crosses it in. <sighs> Keeper does well there. The striker was trying to come in. We got a corner kick here. Alpine takes it, flicks on, and there's Luka Jovic for the first goal of his Deportivo La Coruña career. And it's come in the first 18 minutes of the first game. And he's done what Pedro Pellegrini done last season for us. And that's score-headed goals. Oh, man. 
I love it. I love it when I make transfers and in the first game they score. And he scored again. Scott McTomney did an excellent job by keeping the ball in and getting it down the line. And it counts. Look at this. Familia Castilla goes wide. They try and clear it, but Scott McTomney takes it down, runs down the line, hits it across the face of goal, and he just has to tap it in. Probably going to be one of the easiest goals he ever scores for us. 2-0 up already. Two goals in nine minutes. On his debut. I love it, isn't it? Two. And Scott McTominay, also a player who I signed. Oh, man, I'm loving this. Keep going. Alpine's going to have a bigger run this season. He had a great end of last season. And I think he'd do a silly. Here's it down to Alpine. Oh, upside. Um, he had a great end of last season, and he's going to be getting his chances now this season um, to do it. But let's see how he gets on. But we need Jovic to score another goal because I'm going to sub him off very soon. Actually, let's turn it around. I'm bringing Paul on. You're coming on as well for Becca Becca. Uh, yeah. Try and get some. No, I don't want to bring you on. You can come on cup competitions. Right. Praise him like I should. Free kick, corner kick to us. Adam Marlin goes to the back post. There's Paul. <sighs> Didn't even need to leap there. Just stood there and it planted on his nugget. But here we go again. Vayner shoots all oh, over the top, making three substitutions here. I'll sell to Vigo. Right, you are coming off. Uh, you two as well. See, I'm more confident now with the substitutes I'm making because of the players we've now got. And the defense feels good. Not great, good. Cilia. And Jal Victor are going to be animals. Now, Koresma's still got question marks on him. Yeah, back to uh, Andrian. Oh, great skill. That was a very poor shot in the end. Very, very poor shot. But that is full time. And that is the episode. We've gone into this game. We've shaken the tree. And we've come out on top. Spanish football welcomes back. He does. He's back with two goals. And he's going to set this alight. I can't wait to find out who we've got in the Europa League. But in next episodes, we've got the Galacticos of Barcelona and Real Madrid. So with that, with love, with care, my name's been Mark. You guys have been fantastic.